Welcome to the next episode of Long Island TikTok. We're here with Nick Russo, and he is Long Island's bacon, egg, and cheese guy. So why don't you just start off by telling us a little bit about um, your platform and what do you do? How did you get started reviewing bacon, egg, and cheeses? Yeah, so it was probably April of 2022, and I decided with my friends, because we would post on our Snapchat stories all the time of like, yo, like, we just went to our local deli, like, here's a video of, like, the sandwich, or here's the video of the pull, and, like, you know, just a f- short, like, four-second clip of it. And then all of a sudden I was with my friend Christian at my uh, local deli, The Better Bagel, and I posted it on TikTok. I made the account fresh, and I was like, all right, here we go. So I posted it. All of a sudden it blew up. It got, like, 2,000, 3,000 views, you know. Mm-hmm. So then he was like, all right, we got to do this every day. And that, it was during Easter break, so I was able to do them four or five, five videos during this, you know, this week span. So I posted four or five videos, and then Wally's Bagels blew up. Got, like, I think 40,000 views, 50,000 views, like, oh. right off the rip. And I was like, wow, like, people are actually interested in this. And I just kept going at it once a week when school started. When we watched it, we were immediately thinking of, like, I don't know if you've ever seen Dave Portnoy's, like, yeah. pizza reviews. Yep. It gave us that same vibe. So yeah. did you, like, get your inspiration from that? Yeah, everyone knows Dave Portnoy. So, like, <laughs> when I first started posting videos, I would, like, tag him in the comments, you know, hope that one in a million chance that he responds. And has he? No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> well, one day. Yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, pizza and bacon, egg, and cheese, they go together. Yeah. So. Especially you, in the hall. You guys should do, exactly. like, yeah, I was just going to say, you guys should do, like, a collaboration. Yeah. The okay. ultimate Long Island meal yeah, right, right there. <laughs> We're manifesting it for you. So <laughs> why bacon, egg, and cheese? Um, I don't know. All my friends and I, like, so the way our town is, like, we're very, it's in Amityville. So it's very, like, close together. You could walk to each other's houses, you know. We're down the block from everybody. So we all just text each other, hey, like, let's meet up at a deli. We go to a deli, and I don't know. It's just secondhand. Like, every, every Saturday, Sunday, we would get a sandwich or during break, you know, hang out and get a sandwich at the deli, so. Just came natural, I guess. Do you have a particular spot that you would say is your favorite? The Better Bagel in Amityville. Okay. It's my favorite. I've done <laughs> the two OG. videos on them. Yeah. I go there every day. I went there today, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. And before you did these videos, how often would you get bacon, egg, and cheeses? In the summer, pretty often. Probably, like, every day before the beach. <laughs> uh, during school, probably not that often, just because it was, you know, it was out of the way, but made time for it. Are you starting to, like, get sick of them, or do you still, like, love them? Surprisingly <laughs> not. Like, it's because it, it's different everywhere, you know what I mean? Different brand of eggs, True. different different everything. You could just taste that everywhere's different. Everyone mm-hmm. does something different. So what would you say is your ideal bacon, egg, and cheese? <sighs> like, all right, so the proportions have to be correct. You know, you can't have too much bacon and not a lot of cheese, or, like, you have to have a certain amount of eggs, certain amount of cheese, certain amount of bacon cooked properly. I don't like runny eggs personally, so I like them over medium. Okay. Um, one, two slices of cheese, three slices of bacon, and then just soft rolls. Because sometimes they, you know, I used to work at a deli, so the next morning they would use the deli, the rolls from the day before. Okay. And then, you know, in the morning they're hard, they're a little soft. They're not that soft, they're like small, I guess you could say. So you just got to get a fresh roll, and I think it, I think it helps a lot. So no bagels? No. Nah. Mm-hmm. I like bagels, but not on a bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> I can't uh, fan for life over yeah. here. Fan for life. I can't agree with we you. We have on this that. debate very often yeah. and we both agree that you gotta have it on a bagel, especially here. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like the bagels like when you bite into it, it just slides off the inside of the bagel, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. I've had that's, it before. So that's a good point. That's fair. That's fair. Have you ever had a bacon egg and cheese outside of Long Island or New York? I have. And what do you think? So I went to this place in Jersey Shore called Long Island Water Bagels. Mm. So they take the water from Long Island er, and from New York to make their bagels. Oh, interesting. That's, you know, that's why all the bagels are right. all suck. <laughs> they're not, they don't use the water from New York. Yeah. So surprisingly, the bagels were like, all right, for, for being New Jersey, but mm-hmm. it still wasn't, wasn't comparing. Okay. So the furthest you've been with a bagel, like, or bacon, egg and cheese is Jersey. I mean, I've had it from Florida, but Florida doesn't have delis. You know what I mean? They only have Fair. Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, yeah. so it's not really. I just get so scared leaving Long Island. Like, I just feel like, nope, I can't get a bagel. Immediately, yeah. I'm like, no sandwiches, yeah. no egg sandwiches, no bagels. I just, I stick to whatever else they have on the menu because I know I will just constantly be comparing it to yep. here on Long Island. Well, exactly. we were having this to be somewhat recently that, like, if we were to leave Long Island and had a bacon, egg, and cheese, 
even though Priscilla and I agree you should be on a bagel, and Vinny is the outlier here. <laughs> well, apparently you have a fan, but <laughs> we think that you should have your bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll outside of New York because the bagels are just not as good. Yeah, that's fair. That is. That is because okay. you can't really mess up agrees. the roll, I yeah. guess. Yeah. The bakeries make them, so I guess you can't really. True. Do you notice a difference in the rolls when you go to different places? Yeah, sometimes. So sometimes the Kaiser rolls have, like, the poppy seeds on them. But mm-hmm. then sometimes they have with no poppy seeds and it's just like flour on top. Mm-hmm. Don't like those that much. I think the poppy seeds are way better. And you could also tell like a lot of delis that I've been to leave the boxes like either behind the counter or like just extra rolls just in case. So they all really come from the same brand. I notice mm-hmm. that all the time. Like the same company. Do you think working in a deli kind of sparked your interest with bacon, egg, and cheese yeah, so much? Most definitely. Okay. I worked for about a year and a half at the de- at my friend's deli up in Woodbury. So it kind of like, you know, they all ask me like, oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Or like the owner, John, would like, Nick, like, what should I do different that'll attract more people? So it kind of helped me, you know, raise awareness to what I think should be better on it and then helped his business as well. Well, you're very specific with the amount of bacon. Three <laughs> yeah. three pieces of bacon. <laughs> well, because two is too little. It doesn't cover the whole roll. But then you have like four or five. And it's just too much. You know, you don't want it to be tasting just bacon. So do you like your bacon chopped up into bits or does it have to be like the slice? Nice to slice. Okay. And yes. how does it need to be cooked? A little, like a little past well done, but not burnt. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it doesn't flake apart when you bite it. It's crazy. You'd think, like, a bacon, egg, and cheese would be, like, consistent, but you're finding, like, all these differences in different places, right? A lot of inconsistencies. Crazy. Um, And how are you finding these different places to go? Are you just relying now solely on your comments, or do you have, like, a running list of places that you want to hit up? Originally, I was just like, all right, I'm going to do an order for Massapequa, Amityville, Copeg, Lindenhurst, um, like, an order from town to town. But then as soon as Wally blew up, I realized I can't do every single comment. So I, you know, I had to choose the most liked comment. So I put out mm-hmm. a video saying like, hey, if you guys want one done, I'll do the most liked comment for however long I can. And then once I started doing that, I started realizing the towns were getting repeated. So I stopped doing you know, top comment because I didn't want to do three in Massapequa or four in right. Amityville. I started mm-hmm. just doing what town I didn't do yet. Have you hit pretty much every town so far not even close no <laughs> not even close okay what is your goal are you hoping to hit every single town i mean if i could that'd be awesome mm-hmm. but like the issue is with that like the north fork you know what i mean it's so yeah. far from where i am because i'm borderline nassau suffolk right. right going all the way to the north fork is going to be a whole day trip so i would have to do like every deli while i'm out there and then you know that format that you have now you're like replying to comments and yeah. the video kind of navigates that whole sequence do you feel like you have more people in a certain area who comment? Let's just say, you know, you're from Amityville. So do you have a lot of people from Massapequa commenting? Or is there, like, a larger portion of people in different areas of Long Island? Yeah, it, it all depends on where the video is. So when I do the videos in Suffolk County and deep out in Suffolk, I get a bunch of, you know, North Shore towns like, you know, St. James, Nessaquag, all those towns commenting when I do a St. James deli. When I do a South Shore Suffolk Deli, when I did East Islip, I had a bunch of East Islip, you know, so Bay Shore, geom- Patch all those. You know, yeah. It all depends on where I am. How did your parents kind of react to this? Because I know this is like newer for, yeah. it's newer for our generation and especially for our parents' generation, I imagine. Yeah. So were they like, is this real? Like, is this an actual job? Yeah. And like, what did they do when, you know, you were saying, oh, this potentially could lead into a career for me? Yeah, so when I first started doing them, like, the first two, three videos I did, I was I told them, you know, oh, I did it as a joke. Like, me and Christian just recorded a video, and it was like, oh, you know, that's cute, that's funny. All of a sudden, my video blew up. They were like, Nick, like, your video blew up. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And when Kevin reached out to me, they were like, like, there's no way. Like, this isn't real. Like, that, that can't be a thing. You know what I mean? It's not, mm-hmm. it's not possible to get paid to eat. I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. it is. Like, it's <laughs> happening, and, you know, I'm going to work and not just – not just do the reviews, but work with Kevin like as a as an intern and just learn more about the business. They were like, "That's great! Like, it's a great opportunity." You know, it's it's kind of weird because like we don't know him and it's all online right now. But that's what you know. We met and we we talked and it all worked out for the better. And they were enthusiastic about it. So, do you think that this is going to lead, like, as your main portion of your career, or do you have like other plans? I think it'll definitely help with my career path. You know what I mean? It'll definitely give me knowledge and information that I can use for the future. Okay. And you just graduated high school, right? Yes, I did. 
Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So how is it being in high school when you're blowing up on TikTok like that? It's a little weird because once in a while I'll get in the hallway, yo, is that is that the guy? Is that the bacon egg and cheese guy? <laughs> like, I'll, once in a while I'll get in the hallway, but and then my friends are like, you know, be that guy and be like, yo, Mr. Carrero, like this guy's a celebrity in the back of the room, <laughs> like talking about me and like making me, you know, stand up in front of the whole class and tell them about it. But it's mm-hmm. fun. It's enjoyable. What is the reaction post video? Like, do you have, especially for the really good ones, do you have the delis reaching out to you like, thank you so much, like you brought in X amount of customers, yeah. or like for the ones that maybe aren't as high, what is that reaction looking like for you? Yeah, so I've had a multiple reactions. So some of the higher, you know, higher rankings, I guess you could say, they've reached out to me and said, you know, thank you for coming in. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for the publicity. Like, we've had X amount more customers or we've had people come in and mention your video and say you saw us online, which is great. Or then even some places would repost it on their own Instagram or their mm-hmm. own TikTok to get more publicity. And I've also had places where on the lower end of the spectrum, you know, I would actually saw some outside, like when I was pumping gas one day, I saw the owner of one of the delis I did. He was like, hey, like, I'm the owner of this deli. Um, nice to meet you. I introduced myself. And he was like, what could I do to be better? You know what I mean? Mm. I saw you gave me this score. How could I get it up to this? Gave him some criticism. And he was like, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. And then stop by soon and, you know, see how it is, see if I improved. So I feel like that's a pretty positive reaction yeah. to something like that have you ever seen someone is really about to attack you on something because i feel like especially what you were just saying when a, a business is so important to you it's your entire life you have right. all these employees yeah. you know like and maybe you get not the best review online sometimes people get really angry about that I've ha- i haven't had like an angry reaction so to say i've just been like some some owners have said like you know thank you but like i don't i don't agree with you you know, okay. just simple as that. No, That's nothing fair. like anger coming at me in an aggressive way. No. Okay. Well, I have to say, like, this might have been a couple of months ago, but we have, like, a we have a food section. Mm-hmm. It's called Newsday Feed Me. And we have food critics that go around to restaurants across Long Island, and they mm-hmm. basically do what you do, but with everything. Yeah. And in one of our meetings, one of our food critics said, yeah, this guy from a, a random deli contacted me, and he said that this kid on Long Island is reviewing bacon, egg, and cheeses, and I don't know what to do about it. And I was like, oh, God, I know this yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're clearly getting a lot of attraction yeah. here. Yeah. But do you find that affecting your reviews? Like, when you walk in, like, does a deli, like, I know you said you don't, like, call in advance or, like, let them know you're coming so they can't yeah. prepare, but, like, if they see you, do you see, like, a different reaction? Like, do you think they recognize you? It depends on the, the age group, I guess, running the deli. So I went to a Delphi deli in Garden City, and it was all, like, an older crowd, you know, like, all adults, and they, not a single one had any idea. So when I was recording the video, they came outside, what are you doing? Like, what is this? And I explained mm-hmm. it all to them. But then I go to, you know, some delis. I went up to one in Kings Park, and yeah, most like, most of the them. staff was young. <laughs> or like, yeah, some, yeah. sometimes when the staff is my age, a little younger, like, you know, 20s, whatever, they're like, oh, oh, that's that guy. And, like, I'll see them start whispering to the chefs or, like, start mm. whispering behind the counter. And, you know, you see that reaction, but, you know, I don't, I don't think anything of it. So without naming the delis, what is your highest rating and what was your lowest rating so far? So highest rating, it was a 9-4, I believe. Huh? But favorite was a 9-2. It's a little off, but, you know, the people and the price and the location all played a factor in it, okay. which I didn't take account in the video, but looking back at it, I always say the place that I gave the 9 to is my favorite. Lowest, I think. The, the ones that, that I, you've actually posted. Let's yeah, go with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that I posted, I think, was a 4-2. Okay. Th- okay. It might have been in the three, high, th- like 3-8 or something. 4-2, mm. 3-8, somewhere around there. What factors exactly yeah, are you looking for that. in your ratings? Well, it's the sandwich the customer service, the price, how long it takes. You know, I take into account how the storefront looks and how, like, the inside looks. Because, you know, some, somebody sees the storefront, they don't think it looks good. They're, they're not going to go in the deli when it's your first time. So I take mo- most things into account. That is a good point. I feel like the aesthetics is yeah. a lot of it nowadays. I mean, you, see, you see a yeah. rundown deli, you don't want to go mm-hmm. into it. Yeah. Going through this whole process in the moment, what advice do you have to other young entrepreneurs on Long Island? Just go after it. Like, don't be afraid to, to take the first step and don't care what people say. Like, take advice, like, with a grain of salt. Take good advice with a grain of salt, you know what I mean? Like, if somebody's going to tell you don't do it because, you know, you might get judged or you, you may not succeed, you never know, you know what I mean? I didn't think this would blow up ever, but now look where I am, you know what I mean? I'm not, you know, 
I'm not on top of the world like Steve Jobs, but no, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. It's a great opportunity. So you never know what you can learn by whatever life gives you and just take it one step at a time and do what you got to do. Don't care what people think.